um, in the interests of the communities that these homeowners live in. Um, we have plenty of empty houses in Rochester. We don't need any more. So what's going on with the two by fours and the measuring the door? Who, what's that all They're boarding it up. They're going to board up this who's, house. Who's boarding it? Uh, contractors from the bank. Contractors that's, from the that's bank? That's my understanding. Is that right? Yes. What's the bank? Yes, sir, from the bank. The bank is Mid First Bank. Mid First Bank. And who are these people over here? What are they doing? Uh, the people who are boarding it up. Yeah, just tell me what's going on. What, what are they doing over there? All right. Oh, they would? Oh, so right now what, what's happening is some contractors from Mid First Bank have been hired to come in and uh, secure all the entrances to the house. Um, because if Joe remains in the house, that bank, or anyone the remains people. in that house, if anyone remains in that house, then the FHA will not grant, um, will not be able to take the donation of the house to their, um, whatever they call it. They won't be able to take transfer. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. somebody wanted to transfer. Yeah. They won't be able to give the lump sum payment, the insurance payment to the bank if anyone is still living in that house. What's the, what's the owner's name again? This is evicted. Uh, Joseph Woods. Woods? Yeah. Is, uh, did he make any payments at all the last? Uh, Years He's been trying to make payments, they will not accept them. That's my understanding. Tax dollars are and, you, and you said your name and spelled it, right? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Another thing that we're pushing for at this point is because so many, we face so many foreclosures and evictions that are on shaky ethical ground or shaky legal ground. Like for example, we don't even really know who the, the real owner of this home or the real, um, yeah, like the real bank that's working the mortgage of this home is because it's been transferred so many times. We don't have proof that Midfirst is actually the person we should be talking to. Since so many of these foreclosures are on shaky ground, we're pushing for a moratorium on the use of the Rochester police to back evictions in Rochester. Okay, right, so it. thank you. Thank you for your help. Did you have any questions? Good job, you did. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Thank you so much for coming out, you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Just stick around. Get to talk to anybody who's ready to take back the land. Stand up! Stand up! Fight back! What are we doing? Somebody just tried to call you. Stand up! Fight back! What are we doing? Big attack! Stand up! Fight back! What are we doing? Big attack! Stand up! Fight back! They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Terrible. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood. Empty houses ain't no good. They destroy your neighborhood.